Lack of air defense missiles put Ukraine in difficult situation. Russia is going astray. Russian forces are exploiting Ukraine's air defense shortages to launch a renewed assault that aims to destroy the country's energy grid. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, wrote in their March 22nd report. The Russian military targeted over 130 energy infrastructure facilities across Ukraine overnight on March the 21st to the 22nd in a massive drone and missile attack. The attack struck Ukraine's hydroelectric station, the Dnipro hydroelectric power plant and dozens of other facilities. The attacks represented the largest series of combined drone and missile strikes targeting Ukrainian energy infrastructure since the start of the full-scale invasion. The ISW said Russian attacks against Ukraine's power grid in the winter of 2022 destroyed half the country's energy infrastructure. Ukraine braced itself for another winter of Russian assaults on the grid, but Prime Minister Denis Shmihal said at the end of January 2024 that Ukraine's energy sector was stable. The massive aerial attack on March the 22nd indicates that Russia may not have given up on the goal of disrupting Ukraine's power grid. Russian strikes on energy infrastructure in early spring 2024 likely aim to collapse the energy grid in part to stall Ukrainian efforts to rapidly expand its defense industrial base. The ISW said, Critical shortages in Kyiv's air defense missile systems also offer the Russian military another chance to disrupt the grid. The Washington Post reported on March the 15th that the shortage may soon force Ukraine to adjust its strategy regarding Russian attacks, shooting down only one out of every five missiles. The ISW said Russian forces will likely exploit this window of opportunity as long as the shortage lasts. Russian forces failed to collapse the Ukrainian energy grid on March March the 22nd, but may aim to continue intensified strikes on energy infrastructure in subsequent strike series, especially to capitalize on continued delays in Western security assistance that are reportedly expected to significantly constrain Ukraine's air defense umbrella, analysts said. Ukraine's ability to replenish its missile stocks relies on the continued flow of U.S. aid, which has been stalled in a congressional deadlock for six months. Russia launched another large-scale attack against Ukrainian cities overnight on March 22, targeting Kharkiv, Zaporizhia, Kriby Rih, Dnipro, and Kropivnitsky. Explosions were also reported in Vinnytsia, Sumy, Ivano-Frankivsk, and Lviv Oblast. Zaporizhia's Dnipro hydroelectric station, Ukraine's largest hydroelectric power plant, was hit during a Russian missile attack against Ukrainian energy infrastructure, Ukrahydrenergo announced on March 22. According to Energy Minister Herman Halishchenko, Several energy facilities were damaged by the missile attack. Zaporizhia nuclear power plant lost one power line. A Russian missile hit a trolleybus with people moving across the Dnipro hydroelectric power plant. DAM. An advisor to the mayor of Mariupol, Petro Andriyashenko. A Russian missile hit a trolleybus moving across the dam. There were people in the trolleybus. Ordinary civilians going to from work, he said. Local authorities say there is no threat of a dam failure, but acknowledge the blow to a key infrastructure facility. In addition, energy facilities in other regions of Ukraine were affected Ivano Frankivsk, Poltava, Sumy, Lviv, Khmelnytsky, Kharkov regions. Kharkov is completely without power. The air defense of the Kiev regime missed a very important and painful blow. Traffic across the Dnipro hydroelectric power plant has been completely restricted. This was reported by the patrol police of Zaporizhia. Traffic on the road crossing of the Dnipro HPP dam is completely restricted. Traffic is carried out through the Arch Bridge on Kortitsia Island. Also, through the new bridges and Kortitsia district. Please take this information into account when planning your route, the statement said Ukrahydrinergo denied the information about the discovery of a stain of oil products in Zaporizhia due to an oil leak from the Dnipro hydroelectric station.